Hey guys, this is my second time trying to record this shit, okay? Like, seriously, my camera, the new fucking camera that I'm recording on now, which I hope is focused so you can see me better, this shit is, it was so ridiculous. I hope you watched my vlog where I explained it, how hard it was to figure this shit out. It was like, it took me like a week to f do all this software and wait, I, like I had to buy a CD, wait for it in the mail. All this shit, I had to get a separate, like, USB or, yeah, USB CD drive because my computer doesn't have a CD fucking thing and just, it was ridiculous. Now I was just sitting here trying to download this update forever and finally the shit works. So I hope, this is good. I hope it's focused. Like, this lens is really weird. Like, it's only, like, it's only clear if I'm really fucking close to the camera. But, yeah, anyways, so I've been wanting to upload another Ask Christina video and chat with you guys, but, like, if I'm looking down there, it's because I have the little viewfinder on here. Look. I can see myself. See? Ha. Yeah. So, it's really weird for my old camera, but the point of what I'm saying is, like, um, I've been trying to record this video for forever, and I was playing on it. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to look all cute and blah, 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 but, like, I'm always just busy and, like, all this shit, and... Today, it was just kind of an off day, and I'm like, you know, I just got home, like, fucking, why not just record this shit now? So, excuse me if I'm, like, with no makeup or whatever. I just came from, like, a pool party on Instagram, a picture, actually. So, um, I went to this pool party today with some of my Russian friends, and I went to their house. We got a little drunk, and then, um, now I'm good. I'm sober. I'm not drunk anymore, so you don't have to worry about my answers to these questions. But, like, um, okay, I'm going to pull up the comments on my last Ask Christina video because usually people like leave me comments and questions all over the fucking place I'm like can you just leave them in one video because literally this is so long ago that like it's more convenient to go back to just one video and have all the questions there than you know just trying to find them all over the fucking place because some people are like you know I'm like hey leave me some questions on my new um for my new Ask Christina on my last video and they like leave me comments on my Facebook all over my Instagram and like old ass fucking pictures from like weeks ago my Twitter I'm just like dude I'm not gonna find these comments like I don't know they just it's hard to find them again so okay let's do this so <clears throat> finally let's get into it and stop fucking bullshitting right okay uh, from lay0812 I'm a cocktail waitress slash shot girl from a club here in North Carolina hey that's not too far, but I noticed you work at several different clubs. How does that work? That sounds like so much fun to work at more than one club. Okay, honestly, yes, it's more fun because you get to interact with just like a lot more, you know, variety of people, but I do it because it's more financially just, it's smarter to do it that way because, okay, I don't know where you live at, but where I live at the beach, um, it's just very seasonal. Like in the summer, people go towards the beach. Like all the tourists come to the beach in the summer. Then in the winter, they don't. The beach is fucking dead, and they go to other clubs inland. And it's just very different. Like some girls I know stay at the same club or bar, or whatever restaurants, and they're like, "Oh, it's really good money in the summer, so I'm gonna stay here the rest of the year and just sit on my ass and not do any work or make any money for the rest of the year." Because in Virginia, I don't know about North Carolina, they don't pay you an hour here. It's only tips. So these fucking girls sit there on their ass for the rest of the year like nine months they don't make shit and they just sit there and it's because they want to keep their job for the summer which is understandable you know because if you leave then they might hire someone else but it's not smart because those three months it's that's all they have I'm like what the fuck but I've just you know been working at bars for so long that I know all the owners and people and I'm trying to like sound cocky or anything but you know what I mean they asked me to work for them so I don't really have a problem finding a job but like it's just smarter to honestly work in more than one club than you have like kind of a pick you know when the season comes around so anyways that was a long answer but you know, alright then ask Kate asks who is your fashion slash makeup inspiration um I don't really have like one inspiration I mean I like to look at photos I'm a very visual person I like to look at Instagram for just different pictures and stuff like that. I watch a lot of YouTube. I don't really have just one person that I look up to. It's not like that. It's not like, you know, oh my gosh, she's my role model or whatever. You know what I mean? I just, I have my own style. If I see something that I like, I'm going to do that or wear that or, you know, do that makeup, wear those shorts or whatever. If I see it on one person that I like, say like a celebrity, just because they wear something, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be like, oh my God, if they wear it, I must wear it I must buy that shit like no 
I don't do that. I hate when people do that shit. It's so, like, it's just jumping on a bandwagon. It's so fake. Like, I don't do that. If I see something I like, like a trend, I'll wear it. But just because somebody wears it doesn't mean that I'm going to wear it. You know what I mean? Okay. Melissa K asks, what's your favorite part of your body? And what's your favorite part of your personality? Uh, my body, I guess, I like... I like to show off my stomach, even though I would like for it to be flatter. Um, but I like my legs also, which is actually kind of funny because this is one of like advice things for people. I hope this isn't focused, okay? I'm, I'm sorry if I'm close, but look, if I get far away, it's blurry. You see, this, this is a weird camera. I'm still trying to get used to this new camera. But anyways, so, okay, this is my advice to those of you who are younger. Don't put too much stress on something that people call you out on. Because people used to call me out on my legs when I was younger. Like, in middle school, high school, my legs were, like, this skinny. They were, like, sticks. If I look at my pictures from, like, middle school, literally my legs were so skinny. It looks like a skeleton. But, um, <clears throat> I was just always skinny, you know. And people were like, oh, yeah, you have, like, really skinny legs, blah, blah, blah. But now that I got older... Those girls who had, like, good legs then, now they have, like, fat legs. Not trying to be, like, mean. Because <clears throat> I have friends who are, like, full, curvy girls. Nothing wrong with that. But now I get a lot of compliments on my legs that used to be called, that I used to be called out on all the time. They were, like, too skinny and stick legs and whatever. And now people are like, oh, my God, you have amazing legs. I'm like, hmm, thanks. So, honestly, just don't worry about it. So, yeah, I love my legs. Um, and then, what's your favorite part of your personality? Um, I don't really know. There's a lot of different things. It's hard, it's hard to kind of pick one part. I guess the fact that I'm very multicultural, you know, I'm like from a different country, and I'm like two different nationalities, and I live in a third, like I live in a different country, so it's like a third nationality, kind of. Um, so I like to, you know, pride myself on that because I can be very... You know, kind of like a chameleon. I can just go to a different country and blend in very well. You know what I mean? Like, different cultures don't scare me. You know, some people are like, ew, like, what's that food? It's so gross. Like, you know what I mean? Some people go to a different country and they do not blend in. They're like, I'm not doing that or I'm not trying this. I'm not eating this, whatever. I'm just very, like, I will try it, whatever, and I'll blend in. I respect different cultures and different people. I'll just do it, whatever it takes to, you know be integrated into a culture because that's kind of what I had to do when I moved to America so I just kind of learned from there okay do you have a boyfriend if not what's the longest relationship you've been in yes I have a boyfriend currently the longest relationship I was in that I've been in not this one it's my very first one and that was almost close to three years not quite but almost three years yeah um and we're still friends so you know um okay and that was from glamorous ah Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm going close to five minutes. Why is this blurry? Okay, I just went back to the little screen and it's all blurry. What the fuck? This camera is so weird. Okay, I'm going to try to get this closer. Okay, I don't want you guys to be watching me and it's all blurry and just, that's, that's just annoying, right? Okay. <clears throat> Briar Rose 91 asks, yeah, the different country thing happens to me sometimes. Like if Russians just come here in a matter of a couple years, I would tell them my mom is from Ukraine and my dad is from Belarus. They're like, oh, yeah, well, I'm Russian and give me a dirty ass look. Ugh. Hmm. Okay, I guess that wasn't a question, but yeah. <clears throat> to kind of elaborate on that, I sometimes just say... Like, I don't, if people are like, where are you from? I'm like, from Ukraine, because that's where I'm fucking from. But I don't say like from Russia, but sometimes if people are like, you know, are you Russian? I'm like, yeah, because if I say I'm Ukrainian, they're like, what the fuck is that? A lot of Americans, honestly, no offense, but they don't know their geography. They don't know where's Ukraine at. So, yeah, it's, it's, you know, and this is like 11 months ago. So this is this an old comment, but not that everything's going on with Ukraine and Russia on the news. I'm sure a lot of Americans are aware where Ukraine is at and all this shit. Okay, um, great video, thank you, from Sean, uh, from Pimp, Pimp Coop, you're the hottest and most beautiful girl in the world, thank you. Okay, okay, Maggie Bar 7 says, I subscribed today and while watching your videos, I came up on this one, I was surprised to find out you're from Ukraine. I was born and raised in Poland, except I came after finishing high school a few years ago. My question is, what was your biggest challenge that you had to face when moving to the States? 
beauty related question who's your inspiration and your favorite YouTube gurus okay so good question um, alright so with the biggest challenge uh, hmm I mean learning English and learning the culture was definitely the biggest challenge but I was very young you know I was like what 12 so it was it literally took me faster than other kids I'm not trying to sound like cocky again but when I took ESL, the other kids that were with me that um, came the same time that I did, they were from like other countries, they stayed in ESL way longer for like three years or something. I stayed in ESL for just one semester and then I stopped and I started going to regular school. Like, I don't know, I just picked up on the English a lot faster and everything like that. Um, but, I don't know, the biggest challenge was I guess learning the culture because sometimes, you know, it was very hard also. I already talked about this before in other Ask Christina videos, but one of the things that was hard was the fact that I came when I was 12. So you know kids can be very mean and cruel when you're like in middle school because you're just kind of a teenager growing up, going through pu puberty, and people already pick on you and they're already mean. And the fact that I was born made it even worse because just people, you sometimes don't understand their culture and they don't understand you and kids can be very cruel. They don't understand something and they're like, ew, or they're like, you're weird, you know, they don't really, they're not nice. Like, oh, well, that's different, you know, when you're an adult, you're like, okay, this person's different, they're from a different cult country, I might not understand that, but I respect that. No, kids are like, fuck that, you're weird, whatever. So that was kind of hard to overcome that, but you just kind of have to learn and deal with it, you know. So in high school, a middle school, okay, this camera just cut me off, but okay, so middle school was very hard to answer your question, but high school was way better. It was awesome. I loved high school. Okay, and the second part of the question, who's your inspiration and favorite YouTube guru? Okay, like I said earlier, I don't have like one person who's my inspiration. I like to find inspiration everywhere, but the, my favorite beauty guru, I don't really have one. I like to watch a few different people. I love watching, um, I like watching Blair Fowler, Andrew's Choice, Chris Pukas, SML Excel, Carly Bible, um, Shan Excel. There's like so many different people. I just, I like to watch a lot of them. I wanted to see one video. She's so talented. She just won the competition. I'm really glad for her. I don't know, there's a few different people I like to watch. Um, I don't really know. Oh, Beauty Crush. I forget about like the people from other countries. Beauty Crush and her sister, uh, Flirt of Force. There is just a lot of different people. Yeah. Jerry Graceffa, Shane Dawson, Ari Casado. There's like so many different YouTubers. I've been on YouTube for so long that I feel like I just watched like the, the whole fucking community. <laughs> Everyone. Um, okay. So, skipping over some other comments. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much. I watch all your videos. Thank you. Okay. Um, Melissa Perez says, do you speak Spanish? If so, I'd love to hear it. Um, I actually talked about this in one of my videos. This is my frequent last questions. It was my first language, Spanish, but um, I'm not fluent in it anymore because I don't live with my dad, obviously. And I talked about this already in my other video, so I'll link it below. But I like understand it mostly. I can speak it like I can get by. But I'm not fluent in it, you know. I don't know all the words. But I feel like if I went back to Cuba, I would pick it up very easily. Like if I went to a Spanish-speaking country in general and lived there for like, you know, six months or something, I would be able to pick it up very easily because it's just kind of integrated into my brain. Like I already took it for like three years in high school. And I picked up on it so fast because it was already kind of in the back of my brain. I just didn't know it. It just, you know, I picked up on it very fast. So I feel like it's just the fact that I don't have a lot of vocabulary. So I feel like if I just went to back to a different, you know, country that speaks Spanish, I would be able to pick it up. So, yeah. And the final question is Tinny Mueller. She says, some of your all-time favorite books except Harry Potter. Of course, of course. I love Harry Potter. Um, I did a review on the J.K. Rowling book. Cuckoo's Calling that she wrote under a pseudonym. That was a really fucking good book. Awesome detective novel. And she just published a new one for the same, you know, uh, detective that she was writing from his point of view. Okay, you guys, my camera just cut off. The SD card got full, so I had to put it on my computer, upload all the shit up there, and then put it back and erase it all. Seriously, this is a pain in the ass. I know it's a better quality, and I hope you guys appreciate this because it's a lot of fucking work. Like, I had to upload all this software to here, then it cut off once because the, um, one, I had to charge the battery, then it cut off once because apparently Canon's cut off at 12 minutes, then it cut off again because the card was full. Like, what the fuck? Okay, anyways, 
this should cut me off so let me get back to the last question so okay um the favorite books like i said i really like the um jk rowling's Cuckoo's Calling, which I did a review on. I'll link it below. I really, really love that book. She just came out with a new one and I actually got it from Amazon, so I'm going to read that soon. Um, I recently finished the Divergent series and that was okay. It was good, but it wasn't like com comparable to Harry Potter. I might do like a review on that too. I don't really know. Um, I like... I don't really know. There are not a lot of books that I like. Oh, actually, no. Years ago, I read the second favorite to Harry Potter are the um Sherlock Holmes books, the novels. I loved those, the short stories and the novels. Those were awesome. But um Conan Doyle or whatever, uh his name, I don't know, I don't remember. But yeah, those were so good. I love them. This is my name by the way. Yeah, those were awesome. I also finished a lot of the like classics like Picture of Dorian Gray, all of that. That was good. I'm a lot of Mark Twain, his, not the fucking teenage shit, like these, Tom Sawyer, all that shit, no, like the, um, Perfect Stranger, all that stuff, it was really good, so, yeah, I like books like that, so, anyways, okay, the next question she had was, what are your must-have beauty products you cannot live without, actually, this was something I wanted to do a video on, on my main channel, I should probably do a video on this, yeah, but, my must-haves, I have to have foundation and I have to have mascara if I really had to pick in some sort of lip balm or something like that. Because I feel like those really define your face. Maybe also your eyebrows, something for your eyebrows, like a pencil or some shit. But I feel like foundation really makes you look like a different person. It just evens everything out so you don't like, so you don't look fucking sick and shit. And then <laughs> mascara just makes you look, you know, awake and feminine. It's just really nice. And then lip balm. If you mean like specific by like, uh, brands or something. I don't really know. It'd be really hard to pick, but if I had to pick something, it would have to be like probably my Makeup Forever HD foundation, my telescopic mascara, and my Maybelline Pink Please lipstick, and my Jordana eye pencil for my eyebrows, which is actually an eyeliner, but I use it for my eyebrows. So yeah. Will you do the boyfriend tag? Um, actually, I'm thinking about doing it, yeah, because I asked my boyfriend, and he was like, hmm, yeah, I will do it, because, like, my other boyfriends, they never wanted to be on camera, they were just, like, they thought it was weird, and they never wanted to be on videos, but this one's like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, so, actually, yeah, how long are you guys together, and how did you meet? Well, we've been together last month in May was a year, so a year and a month, because now it's June. And how did you meet? Um, oh my god, I just clicked on show more. She's got so many more questions. Look, there's like the four questions. I thought that was it. And then I clicked on this. And there's like all of these other questions. Oh my god, this video is going to be so long. But I'm going to answer all of them. So, okay, I'm going to hurry up. Um, so, how did you meet? We met at a bar, go figure, while I was working. Which I never said I would date anybody while I meet them at work. But that should happen. Apartment tour. Um... This is not an apartment, this is a condo, but I don't know if I'll be doing a tour. I might do a tour when I'm moving out, just because, I don't know, it's like, it just, like, personal reasons, it's just weird. How many and what jobs do you have? Um, right now, currently, I have, I only work at, like, three clubs currently, which normally I work at, like, five or six, like I said before, but, and then I'll have my day job, and then I have YouTube, so yeah. And, but it's always varying, especially now that it's summer, like I said, it's very seasonal to work at clubs and stuff like that. Have you tried Lush products before? Yes, I have, and I did videos about it. If so, what do you like to use from them? I love, my favorite is the Dark Angels uh, scrub for your face. It's called like a cleanser, but it's actually a scrub. I, I, did, I included it in my skincare routine, so I'll link that video down below for you guys. Um, do you prefer drugstore products over high-end products? Honestly, I like both. It's a mixture. Like, some things you have to go high-end because they're just better for you. Like, I know some people struggle with the foundations or mascaras. It just really depends on your skin, your lashes. Everybody's different. But I feel like drugstore does have a lot of good things, you know, that are, you know, a lot of people just don't really give them credit for that shit enough, you know? What is your longest relationship? Like I said, almost three years. Do you have a role model? Um, I feel like my grandmother would be my role model. She raised me and she's very hardworking. She's a very genuine and nice person and I respect her a lot and I look up to her. Are you a makeup artist? No. <laughs> would you like doing that as a side job since you have a beauty channel? Yeah, if they paid a lot of money, honestly. Which I met a girl doing this photo shoot recently and she told me that she does hair. 
And she said that sometimes she does weddings and then we pay her like $200 or like a hundred something dollars per up to. And she said that she did like, she said she went to a wedding recently that she had to travel. So she got paid $250 per up to. Mind you, this is a wedding, not like a fucking prom. And she did eight girls. So she earned 2000 in one day. And I'm like, the fuck? And she was like, yeah. And they pay for your hotel too. I'm like, girl, and yeah, if they pay me that much, I'm, I might do that shit. Yeah. But not for like 30 bucks or some shit because no, that's a waste of time. Are you happy with your job or do you have other plans as well? Something that has to do with your major psychology. Well, I love psychology, but honestly, I would not like to use it for like counseling or anything like that. I would like to use it more for like industrial, like IO psychology. It's called like industrial organizational from what I took at my college, which means that you apply psychology in like uh, environments for like corporations and stuff like that. So I like, I love to be in sales. I like to use psychology for sales. So I might use that because honestly, psychology can be used for so many different things. You can use it to, you know, use it in sales. You can use it for like military to counsel soldiers. You can use it with children. You can use it for testing like people in corporations for their jobs. It's just so many different things that you can use it for. I would like to be in some sort of corporate sales environment. So yes if something like that comes along i mean i'm in sales now for my day job not like in the fucking mall i mean like <laughs> corporation sales so yeah i think it's pretty cool so that's what i'm doing now so that was the last question and i hope this video is not gonna be fucking long as shit because i feel like it's gonna be oh my god was this out of focus the whole time oh shit i just looked because i had to be on the comments page so i wasn't looking at the little monitor but i think it was like too far like this oh my god this pimple is so bad fuck <gasps> oh well this is a vlog channel who cares whatever but anyways so thank you guys so much for watching please leave me some new questions down below that i'll answer very soon so this is my june ask christine i'll do one in july i'll try to do these once a month and i will have some more vlogs for you guys and also by the way i just was watching this live stream from Ellen Blair and I was thinking like if I do a live stream would you guys watch because I feel like you know I might do it and then like one person might show up and yeah that'll be pretty boring because you need questions to answer and shit you know you can't just fucking have a live stream with two people watching so would you guys watch I don't know I feel like that would be fun to do because then you get to interact like in real life you know not recorded and answer questions I feel like that would be really fun so let me know if you guys would like that and I will see you in my next video. Oh, of course, self-promotion, I forgot. So subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my main channel for my fashion beauty. And if you want to find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, I will have all my links down below. And also check out my blog. Subscribe to emails from my blog because people always ask me for like details and like what are you wearing and all this shit. And I'm like, it's on my blog. Just subscribe. You know, you know. I'm just kidding. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Bye.